Well, I'm back here in the Pongo River. I want to expand a little bit and do very minor fishing today. It was storming earlier. It's been beautiful out there. Cool and nice. That's heading down towards the Pamico Sound. I'm going to show the one about the boat here and my mom. This down here, I have this hatch open. This is the battery compartment. I keep my bilges clean. Some of the gear and equipment over there. Bilges, pumps, filters, and just general gear. I had these fishing rod holders. I had a hard time finding a place they were always bouncing around, so I built these little containers to hold them. That's the um they hold their outriggers to make the you can push your rods out further. And right now I just got some general stuff in here that's usually not in those pendant places but there's some covers for the console and such but overall just trying to find everything's got to have a place where it won't bounce around i was showing this in the last video but i mentioned hodges marine that's not that didn't buy that thing at hodges marine i bought that and had to, had to cut this down and remake this where it would fit in there and not hit everything down in there when i keep my lines i got about 12 lines here I think someone asked about that because I know I did not buy that like that. I had to cut it down to make it fit. Um, up here we have um, uh, just the general stuff, the radar dome. Can't really see good here. There we go. Um, this, this is stuff Jerry had added, of course, before I bought the boat. Um, there's 18 rod holders on board. Got two of these each on each side. Those are, like I mentioned one time, um, planer board um, items. They did a super job with this um, floodlight. It runs through a wire over here down into the boat and doesn't leak surprisingly down to there. But it's far enough forward where you can actually use it without it blinding you too much. Although it does reflect off the anchor a little bit. Not too bad. The windlass is awesome. You can make this manual, by the way, easily which I prefer really. We only anchor in six to eight feet of water around here, so don't need a free fall until I might keep a look out in the ocean somewhere deeper, but um, don't need that for my normal anchoring around here. So it's very shallow. Um, all these uh, compartments in here, all every compartment like this on the boat would bang your head. You couldn't do it. So what I did here, I made a real quick catch like that and everything just hooks up real quickly and easy out of the way so you can get into these compartments and it, they stay up by themselves without they're simple using a bungee and a ball and drilled one hole works great um i built these racks that's a cell phone holder right there binocular holder and it's a catch-all this is stuff for like porting papers and things very i went in lightweight lightweight i've got the fender I have three fenders, I carry four on board most of the time. They're one on each side out of the way. The ladder for the swim platform is actually stowed back there. And um, you know, I can't see it there in the video. But it's out of the way, I, I use it off, but it only takes about a minute to get it out. Everything here is just important for navigation, or I don't have it here. Handheld VHF, controls, um, Auto helm, azimuth compass. Well, the radio is not important for navigation, but well, maybe it is. Um, there's the other controls. And that's a, the 1040 Garmin radar, chop plotter, depth sounder, sonar thing. Um, but I put this non skid material everywhere because I can be, we're in rough seas around here pretty regularly and nothing moves around, bounces around. I put that everywhere up here on the, we'll call it the dash maybe, I don't know. Anyways, I'll be adding one more GPS right here. Um, I've got the brackets and everything connected to my buddy Dave Parker. And um, these are just, I use this here. I use this other um, phone that's mine there for, for my radar and for Ventusky uh, wind and weather sites. So I'm in rough weather and rough seas and storms. I use that, have that running for I can see what's, all around me for miles and miles and miles. This side I got one more of those um, uh, catch-alls I built. Uh, there we go. And again, I keep this fender back in there with this little storage. Um, same thing over here. All those. That's all. That's all you need to make these hatches stay up and have a little place to hook it to. 
And down here in the cuddy cabin, I've added them. Probably not. It was on Missy down here. Um, just added some more. These were teak. Like Dale on Classic Parker said, gotta have a little teak on the boat to keep the boat pretty. So, Dale, this is for you. Um, added some teak accents here. Things of storage. Um, I've got um, 12 life preserving board there. These are two offshore life vests right here that I keep in. Again, there's that knob to hold this, to hold that thing in place, to up, to hold that that door up in place, and up here just a little more things to store place things. And uh, of course, under, underneath here, there's, Parker has a great storage underneath some of these things here. And I'm doing this because I'm just first of all, I'm trying to first I have a handheld bracket. I'm hoping I'm holding it steadier. Oh, and we added the name of the boat this week. Now this this will be upside down, but I'm gonna do it just for fun. Hope I don't drop the phone in the water. Don't know if you can see that or not. I won't know. I won't know till I load the video. But we'll see if how that shows up. So there's more rod holders, of course. Okay. We'll see how that shows up or if it shows up. Interesting. <laughs> I'm upside down. Okay. It's upside down. So just another real quick video if I can learn how to load these videos. I I. This was just a place to stick again with a catch all. Parker has no place to even lay a set of keys. I mean, they're, they're bare bones boats when it comes to any kind of um, extra accessories. Um, so, I mean, I, I've added something. Any place I need to lay, lay a key or lay something, I just like having places to, 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 to put things that aren't going to bounce around and move around. Well, I added that fish measuring stick. Like, I'll ever catch a 42 foot fish. I mean, I'd love to. Um, hope I can learn how to do that one day. So far, that hasn't been, that hasn't happened yet. But again, I'm, a, I'm an old guy, I'm a new fisherman. I'm just learning, I'm an old guy, just learn how to fish. So, um, and I'm loving it, and I love the boat. So, anybody from Parker or Classic Parker is watching this, uh, Parker's a great boat. It's about my uh, 18th or 19th boat I've owned. Um, I've quit counting it, actually, but I've had like I say seven or eight we call it major boats from the 35 footer, 27, 15, 16s, 18s, 22s over the since the 1970s. So whoops, I'm running this video way too long. It's gonna take me forever to load this. Goodbye.